item that I didn't report on in Morocco this week, uh, Muslim, uh, Muslim military men in Morocco uh, went and attacked uh, a Christians, foreign nationals, uh, who were simply having a Bible study in Morocco. So we see in Muslim lands that Muslim governments are now killing Christians just because they think that they're somehow successfully worshiping the Lord. And any hint of Christians actually growing, any hint of Muslims converting to, to Christianity is met now not just with uh, religious fervor, but with murder, with jail time, with false accusations. A Christian in Pakistan last week was jailed for life. Why? Because it was accused of blaspheming Muhammad. Why is this happening? Muslims are getting afraid because Muslims are converting to Christianity. Jesus Christ is Lord and greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And Muslims, look out because Jesus has you on his heart as well. Praise God. Thanks so much for your call and we'll remember uh, though that brother's family and may God receive him into his kingdom. And uh, I tell you what, there's two kinds of martyrs we talk about on this program. There's the Muslim martyr, the Muslim martyr who kills uh, in the name of Allah and expects to go to paradise. And then there's the Christian martyr who has been killed in the name of Allah and doesn't expect to go to paradise. He knows for sure that to be absent from the body is immediately to be present with the Lord because in Jesus Christ we have absolute assurance of salvation because it's not what we've done because your works, your good works and mine and Brother Hamoudi's, it's like filthy rags, wusuk, dirty. But Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, he was made, as it were, to be sin so that we might become the righteousness of God through him and through believing on his death, burial, and resurrection on the cross. And we too might have eternal life. Hallelujah, brother. Amen. Hamoudi. Isn't that beautiful? Praise God. Praise God. We we don't. I, I want. We need to take the callers, but I just feel like preaching. How about you? Well, that's that's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take some more of our callers, and maybe with God's help, we'll get to preaching here in a little bit. <laughs> let's take the next caller <clears throat> right now. Welcome. You're on the air with news and views. <clears throat> Hello, brother Joseph, brother Hamoudi. Assalamu alaikum from your brother Mudawi. Assalamu uh, alaikum. How are you, sir? <laughs> Yes, I'm doing good. Uh, thank you very much for uh, this show and uh, really that's uh, very important uh, stuff down here. And you know, as you know, I'm a Muslim. Yes, sir. And just if you don't mind, I have one comment and one question. Go right ahead, have sir. Have time for me, please. Go. And uh, okay, uh, I know in every society, Christian or Muslim, those people they call themselves Christian, and they don't have nothing to do with the Christianity. Yes. Uh, like the people they held in rallies about, you know, those sectional and lesbian, and some of them they wearing like the cross. Right. I'm um, as a Muslim, you know, always when I look at them, I laugh and I say those people they don't have nothing to do with the Christianity. Good. I'm glad you can see that. Thank you. Yes. And in the same thing, some stuff is happening in the Muslim world. Okay, those people they don't have nothing to do with Islam. And one correction about uh, when you read the surah. Yes. Which is mean, I know you don't speak Arabic, but you understand some of it. Uh, and the meaning of it, those people, I mean, like the believer in heaven, yes. this could be me or could be you, that's by the blessing of God, mm -hmm. they will be saved by those gulman. The gulman mukhalladun or the, those, those, those kids, they serve the mu'minin. They serve them. They give them like the food, the drink, the wine, the beer, whatever you want to call in it. Right. That, that's the mean of it. Not just like those boys to use them or to abuse them or, or to have sex with them. Okay. And, okay. Let me uh, ask okay, you. Okay, uh, okay, let yes. me ask you about what you just said. Yes. Now, uh, I understand what you're saying, and, and maybe you're right, because the Quran does not specifically say that they will have sex with them. I agree with you there. Sure. But, but why do you think that the Quran talks about them, uh, it actually calls them uh, lo'lo. Lo'lo, you know, means pearls. And yes. then here it talks about they are youths yes. of yes. perpetual freshness. They, they never alter in age. They, they yes. don't get old. They continue yes. to stay fresh. What's yes. the uh, significance of that? Yes. Okay. If, if, if Allah or if God 
or if Jesus, you, whatever you want to call him, or uh, Jehovah, whatever you want to call him, when he's going to rewire, uh, rewire uh, me and you, or whatever who we want to bless, with somebody to serve him, he gives the describe, not when he say, okay, just to serve you, without to say as a uh, mm. which is mean I could just like, I imagine just like a regular, just like kids. But mm-hmm. when he say, Kalulay al Maknoon, we should so beautiful something even we can let me and you imagine it. That is just for us to serve us as 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 a believer, as mm. a mu'mineen. Mm. Okay? But if you want to go too far, you could say, you know, everybody could say whatever you want to say. You know what I'm saying? But this right. is the point. But right. say, anyway, thank you very much for this show. But you know what? You touch very important stuff. Me and you, Muslim and Christian, we live in this society in America or North America or in Europe. We have something that's very, very, very dangerous. You know, our kids, what they've been through, your kids, my kids, in the school, when they are young, they teach them about sex. They teach them about all this is bad stuff. I know you as a Christian, you don't like that, but right. you have nothing to do because we've been controlled by mulhid, you know, mulhid right. in government. Right. Even yourself, you as, you as a Christian, you don't like it. Right. You try to do your best to open your, like, uh, Christian or, like, Catholic school, but still, that, you know, it's not easy. Well, I, I agree with you on that, yes. and thank you for bringing yes. that up. And I have one question for you before we yes. go. Yes. Uh, now, here in, in the Quran, in yes. Surah 40, in Surah 40, verse 40, yes. it says, let me read it for you. Surah yes. 40, verse 40. Now, this is interesting. Maybe you can help us understand it as a Muslim. Yes. In Surah 40, verse 40, it says, He that works evil will not be requited but by the like thereof, and he that works a righteous deed, whether man or woman, and is a believer, such will enter into the garden of bliss. Therein will they have abundance without measure. And uh, it's inter- and that garden of bliss there in Arabic is Jannah. So it's talking about heaven. Now that's so- sort of 40 verse 40, which says if a male or female who is a Muslim does good, good deeds, they will, will uh, receive a reward, this is a paraphrase, in Jannah. That's what the Quran says. Okay. Now, here's the next verse, and then I'll ask you to explain it for us. Yes. The next verse is, uh, we find it, in, uh, oh, where is my, my verse? Okay, here it is. It says, Lo, those who have kept their duty dwell in gardens and delight, happy because of what their Lord hath given them, and because their Lord hath warded off from them the torment of hell, fire. Eat and drink in health for what ye used to do, reclining on ranged couches, and we wed them, unto fair ones with wide, lovely eyes, and they who believe and whose seed follow them in faith, we cause their seed to join them there. Now, uh, I'm going to find that uh, verse reference for you, but as I do find it, here's the question for you. The Quran says, male or female who does good deeds will go to Jannah and will receive a reward. The reward, according to the, according to the Quran, is that those people will be wed to the Huri. Now, we'll, uh, we know that males will get 72 Huri according to al Tirmidhi Hadith. What yes. about the females? Will the females who go to Jannah be wed to these wide, lovely-eyed Huri? Okay. Brother, okay, this is a very simple answer. Uh, I just want to ask you a very, a very simple question, a very personal question. Are you married? I am married. Praise okay, God. Say, say your name. Say your name. She's name is F. Whatever M. Whatever, okay. W- okay. This is, you know what? If if God, you know, you became a good mu'min and He sent you to the heaven, one of your theory, she could be your own wife in this life. Your own wife, she could be your theory in Jannah. You oh, no, I mean? no, no, I, no, no, the Huri are special creations. Uh, okay, you know, uh, brother, this, yeah. this, is, this, this is a very simple answer, brother. Okay. God, he, when he's going to rewire us by the Jannah, and he described Jesus or Muhammad or Musa and all the prophets, alayhim salam they described some, the pictures, just some, uh, it's very, very small 
picture of the Jannah. But the whole Jannah and what kind of reward we have it, me and you could imagine. We could imagine for a million.